friends. <laughs> Sorry. I usually don't do that, but it's been a very stressful day. I got those druggies out of my house once and for all. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this was supposed to become my house when my uncle died. Okay? My uncle had left it to me and another uncle who lives here, but He's in the hospital right now, but needs this place to come home to when he gets out. Okay. Big, beautiful three-bedroom house. Needs a little fixing up. I mean, it's a mobile home. It's an older one, but... So it needs fixing up. Anyway... So like I said, this needs fixing up bad, but yeah, it's a nice home otherwise, but my uncle died on January 20th, and for the last, what is that, 31st is 11 days, today's what, 4th, for the last 15 days. I've been trying to get into the main house. See, my little portion here is connected to the house, but separate. My door locks, and so there's not, unless I unlock it, I don't have direct access except through the front door. Okay, 15 days I've been trying to get the main house to clean. You see, a certain little bitch here in Reno, Nevada, named Jessica Lester. She's a four street, one of those four street prostitutes who will sell herself for a bag of dope. Anyway, she picked up on my uncle about a year ago and had been living here for a while with him. Here's the funny thing. You notice I'm wearing this Narcotics Anonymous shirt on. This was my uncle's. Before he met her, he was five and a half years clean. And now, well, all signs point to the fact that it looks like he died of a heroin overdose. So, he met her and started doing heroin again. So, yeah, now I can say I've had somebody in my life dear to me who has died of opium, opioids, or heroin. We need to build that fucking wall. But getting off that subject, okay, so what happened was his girlfriend had two other friends here with her. They were basically squatters. And what they would do is one would stay here and one would either she would be here and they'd be gone or they'd be here and she'd be gone so that they could make sure nobody ever got access to the main house. Well, here's the thing. Tonight, she had already packed up her shit. She left like she promised my other uncle who's basically in charge of the house. She had left. She had just packed up and moved the fuck on. And so what happened next? Well, I'll tell you. The other two punks, squatters, only known as Linda and Bodie, I don't know their last names. These two fucking squatters come over here. They say they're packing their stuff to move out. But then they say they need 24 hours. That they need till morning. And I know what was going to happen. By morning, she was going to come back, okay? And they were going to let her in and lock me out of my house again. Uh-uh. Didn't happen this time. They don't have any legitimate cause to be here. They were pure squatters. Really burglars because 
They stole my uncle's TV and they stole three of the of these four coral pictures that he had. And these coral pictures were valuable. Plus, my uncle's bedroom looks like it's been ransacked. So I'm sure they stole like at least... I mean, I found a small amount of his jewelry, and I was able to put it away in his jewelry box. But I'm sure they stole like 90% of his jewelry, because he used to have a shit ton of bling bling. So anyway, these bastards thought they were staying till morning. Till they discovered that because of state law, now that the power's in my name, I can... That house... And my little cabin here are on two separate breakers. You know. They discovered quickly that I can shut off the power to the main house. Lock up the box. Make them not want to stay here. You know. They came. They packed up some of their stuff. But. One of them packed out my uncle's bedroom TV, 32-inch plasma screen. Somebody packed out those coral pictures, which are supposedly worth $1,000 each. So, somebody made some good money today. Anywho, that's what's been going on. I kicked out the fucking druggy squatters. Because, like I said, my kids got taken because when they inspected the common areas where I use, of course, talking about they, I mean CPS, and the sheriff's deputies, they found heroin and needles. Well, tonight, I found heroin and needles and meth pipes. And I busted the meth pipes, and the heroin and the needles, I packed in their shit. And I put this shit on the porch. And I changed all the locks so they can't get in. Alright, so that's what's been happening. As the old saying goes, you can all put that in your pipe and smoke it. Peace out till next time, friends.